in this lecture i'm going to show you how you can use this login action and specify that to the login component in the previous lecture we understand how you can specify this register action to the register component let me just close this register component and this time i'm going to use this login action and specify that to the login component so i'm going to open the login.js file and at the top as you can see i already have this use dispatch method i'm using this method to dispatch an action so just down here as you can see i already have some code instead of register action i'm going to import this login action so inside this login.js instead of register action i'm going to import login action from container action just for that instead of this register action i'm going to specify this login action here just for that let me get rid of this console right from here and store the response inside a variable so i'm going to say constant log in is equal to and then just down here i'm going to say login dot then and login dot catch so if we have the successful resolve promise i'm going to get the response inside this then method here i'm going to specify data and print that inside a console using console dot log just like this just for that inside catch i'm going to specify error message and print that in a console using console.log now just for that let me get rid of this console log and as you know inside this login action you need to specify your username and password instead of getting values from the input text boxes i'm going to save some time and here i'm going to create a variable constant user data is equal to inside the curly braces i'm going to specify email email is going to be admin at the rate gmail.com and I'm going to specify password. Password is going to be admin123. I'm going to just specify this register information inside my login. Just for that, I'm going to specify this user data as a parameter to this login action. Like this. Save this file. And as you know, I already have this dispatch at the top right here. I imported this dispatch from React Redux and created a simple instance of this hook. And we also have here use store to get the current value of the store and i'm going to print that after this dispatch method let me save the changes and as you know i already specify value to the text boxes so instead of specifying anything inside this input text boxes i'm going to click on this login button when i click on it as you can see i'm going to have a response something like this i'm going to get the token email and the username as i said earlier if you specify the valid credential inside the login you will get the jwt token you can notice inside this login action i'm going to call a service login inside this auth service.js file you can notice here when i make a request to this login uri i'm going to just create a local storage and specify my token inside it so if you specify the valid username and password inside your login jwt is going to return a token and i'm going to store that token inside a local storage so using that token we can access the restricted data if I open this application tab, you can notice here, I have this X access token and I'm going to have my token value inside this local storage. Using this value, you can access the restricted data. As you know, when you click on this logo, it will open the home page. What I want, if the user successfully log in, he can access the home page. Otherwise, I'm not going to allow user to access the home page. Instead, I'm going to redirect the user to the login page. So we're going to restrict the home page from accessing the invalid user. So to access that home page, I'm going to use this access token. When the user have the access token, I'm going to allow user to access the home page. In the future lectures, I'm going to show you how we can make restricted routes. Oops, I'm going to have here a warning. I'm going to get this warning when I open my home page. So there is something missing inside this home page. Let me open my base login component and let me see what is the problem here everything is fine here let me open the header file yeah right here i don't have to attribute to this link when you use link component you need to specify where you want to redirect the user i don't have here two property i need to specify two property here and specify the path of this two property if you want to leave this two property empty that's also fine back to my project reload it as you can see we successfully solved the error message let me back to my login page and open the register form. When I click on the register button, I'm going to get undefined inside my console. 
let me click on the register button again and register a new user so we need to first delete this document right from this atlas once you've done that back to our react app and click on the register as you can see this will register a new user but in the console you will get undefined if you refresh this atlas you can see you have your new user but inside the console you will get undefined from the response so what we are going to do is i'm going to open first the register component and the problem is here i don't have any data inside this parameter so i'm going to open the action.js right here as you know i'm going to get the data from this service so i'm going to open the auth survey.js here inside this register i'm going to have here a property called data let me get rid of this property and show you the result get rid of this property right from here save this file back to the back to the browser reload it and delete this document just after that click on the register button as you can see i'm going to have the response for i want i'm going to have the user id username password and email i thought we need data property to access the response from this exios library but i was wrong just specify the response inside your return statement and as you know when you click on the register button i don't need this message what i want when the user successfully specify this information and click on the register button i want to redirect the user to the login form so what i'm going to do is instead of this console message here i'm going to use a use history hook so we can redirect the user to the login form so at the top here i'm going to say import in the curly braces i'm going to specify use history from react router dom i'm going to use this use history hook from the react router dom and just down here i'm going to say constant history is equal to use history and i'm going to use this history object to redirect the user to the login page so i'm going to say here history dot push and here i'm going to specify login just like this back to the register form clear the screen delete this data if you have duplicate records inside your mongodb database you will get an error message that is why i'm just going to delete this record back to the register form and click on the register button when i click on it as you can see the register button is going to redirect me to the login form now what i want when i click on the login button i want to redirect the user to the home page so i'm going to open my login chairs and at the top here i'm going to say import use history from react router dom just after that just down here i'm going to say constant history is equal to use history instead of this console.log here i'm going to simply say history dot push and i'm going to push the user to the home page so i'm going to specify here forward slash back to my browser reload it and when i click on the login button you're going to redirect to the home page directly if you have the valid credential now i hope you understand how to work with register and a login form next i'm going to show you how you can restrict the user from accessing the home page as well as i'm going to add this logout feature to this project